How's it going? This is Tim. I hope you're all doing well. Um, excuse me, this video is for Victoria and she's nagging me, wondering, saying that these um, these uh, uh, distance mates are melting her head. And we have a good example um, from a chap called Solidwise. I honestly, I don't know his first name, but um, he, he's, a lovely, he's a lovely example of um, an assembly here. Just bear with me, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place at the moment. I'm going to include um, these parts. Whenever you take the actual CSWA exam, you don't take any, you don't have to draw these parts from scratch. Um, you're going to be provided with a zip file and you're going to have to download the zip file, unzip it, and you're going to be left with these parts. And you're going to have to measure um, a distance or something. So. Let's work on this. I'll, I'll provide the link in the description. All right. Now, um, the CSWA is always um, in millimeters. So I'm going to create a new assembly. And let's, I'm going to throw this units on, on millimeters. And I'm going to insert a component and um, I'm going to, we're going to start with the mount. Um, it helps if you kind of know what the mechanical assembly does. Um, and that, hopefully they give you that instruction in, in the exam. But I know this mount or the base is where you start with. And do not click and place the part. I want you to read this. Hit OK button to insert a component at the origin. Always just hit OK. All right, and notice my three assembly planes where they are, and they're in a good position. All right, and I'm going to the next thing I'm going to get is this arm, and I'm going to bring this arm in, and there I click it. This is fixed. I'm holding it. I'm holding down my left mouse button. It's fixed, and this part will zoom all the way around. Do not worry about this sketch information. That's not hurting you, so we're not going to we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to create a mate, and I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to click that face, and I'm zooming in and out, and I'm going to click that face, and it automatically does a concentric. And then I'm going to mate this face to this face, and watch. It does what it says on the tin. It swings up and down like it would in real life. Happy days. All right. Now that's nothing. That's nothing new to Victoria. Next thing, cylinder. Now um, I'm gonna. I have to look at something here just for a sec. So let me pause this. In this um, folder, I'm gonna give you is the CSWA that that SolidWise has put together and it, it is a nice job and trust me when I tell you this make sure you know how to do these assembly questions all right now number 10 um, we're going to put the cylinder here and the piston there and A is going to be 20 millimeters okay so how do we do that I'm going to mate this face with this face and that face with this face and then I'm going to swing this up and we're going to insert the piston all right make sure this is free and I'm pressing escape a few times to get out of it. I'm going to just make that face to there. Concentric. And then that face to there. And watch this. Like it would in, a real, in real life. We have a piston that would push out and it would swing this around. Now what I like to do is I'm going to click on that plane right there. And I'm going to do a little a little um, section view. And this A here is 20 millimeters. 
right there. So I'm going to go mate. Now, Victoria, this is what you're looking for. I'm going to mate this face with this face. Come on now. And no, no, we don't want that. Make sure you hit the two faces here and I click on this button. And I'm going to make that 20. Now listen to me. Make sure you can do angular mates. Make sure you can do distance mates. Make sure you know how to understand the, the usefulness of all these planes. Make sure you can make parts fixed. Make sure you can make parts floating. Um, if, you're, if you typically have an assembly and you have a load of red errors down here, you are not ready for that exam. Okay? Now, um, this nice, he solid wise wants to know what X is. Okay, so let's do it. Evaluate, measure. I click the plane. And then I can't really click this. I'm going to click the line. And which color am I interested in? I'm not interested in the blue. I want this purple bad boy. 48.36. 48.36. Now, now he says change the distance made A to the following value, which is 5 millimeters. So what I would do there is I would come back here and I would right click and I would change that to be five and I would re-measure. Now, like all these exams, the SOLIDWORKS exams, if you do not get this first part bang on and you don't know which one it is, there is a very small chance that you're going to get this next part right. So you would go back and recheck it all. Um, that's it. The two assembly questions in the exam, I tell my students they are money questions. And if with a little bit of work, you should have no problems doing them. So that's it, Victoria. That's your, that's your distance, mate. So hopefully that helps.